Good morning, beautiful people! How are you doing, guys? Welcome back to Liu Live Everything in Wonder. We are starting to freak out a little bit uh, because uh, we don't know if we will be able to finish everything uh, we want to do before baby girl is here with us. I think that we won't be able to finish everything. Like in this house, we don't have one room that is done, that is decorated, that is finished. But I also think that the baby girl will not care about that. But we want to have at least a healthy environment, a healthy house for her and for us. So we have still some issues that we would like to solve before she will be here. So in three weeks, about three weeks. Yes, today we will start with the downstairs uh, bathroom. So let's go over there and uh, we will explain you what's going on. Yeah, because I think that you have never seen the bathroom like in details. Yes. We always show you just a little bit. So let's go and explain you what is the problem and what we are doing to solve this. it. Yes. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. Come with me. Our bathroom. The best part that is <laughs> the sink. The best part is the sink. I made it with my own hands. This is a, a castagno. Chestnut. This is a chestnut tree that uh, it fell in the woods, so I decided to cut a huge piece of it. With the chainsaw, I start cutting these two holes and uh, I made it all by hand without uh, any proper tool so it's not completely flat uh, it's unique it's rusty another great feature inside this bathroom is this tub so we have the hydro massage look about it I don't remember on Amazon or on eBay you, yeah. you were still working uh, in yeah. Switzerland so I remember that I help you just with the raising Yes. To, to finish this. Yes. And it was amazing to see you working on it because you don't have any tools. Yeah. So it was great. So this is amazing. As you can see, there are some parts of this bathroom that are not finished yet. So I don't know if you remember, a few months ago, we called a guy that emptied our septic tank because we had a very uh, sewer smell, stinky really problem. strong yeah in the house he told us that the septic tank was okay he emptied it but uh, the problem wasn't coming from there so basically uh, we think that are the pipes uh, that go from the septic tank uh, to the toilet uh, and um, this house uh, was built in the 60s uh, so many things are really old uh, and the plus uh, when i bought it uh, it was abandoned uh, for basically five years uh, so in that time uh, the freezing cold uh, the water that was still inside the pipes uh, because nobody cared about that some pipes explode uh, some pipes uh, are cracked uh, or broken so we need to figure it out what it is and we will try to fix that and also we need to finish some touches in this toilet as you can see back here we still need to close and finish the drywall uh, also over here, down there. And we decided not to finish this bathroom because we were not sure about the pipes and all the, the jobs that need to be done still. So we don't want to close everything and put a lot of effort and job and work for this and then need to destroy everything again. In this house it's always like a bet because you don't know, you yeah. try to fix something is an attempt and then you learn from the process sometimes we made mistakes 
a lot, lot of, of times. times. <laughs> and then realized it was not the right way to do it. That's why tomorrow we'll have two guys coming here. They're professionals and they will help us with the drywall here in the bathroom to close everything. Also because uh, I would like to start thinking it's about time to start thinking about a diaper changing table. So this will be the station. I would like something very simple, but it's, you know, uh, a place where I can find everything. We can find everything when we need to change our baby. And then they will help us also remove the old pipes. I think with these two uh, upgrades, upgrades, we will be able to see and to smell, <laughs> especially differently in this house. So this is the first issue and this needs to be done because it's not about winter, summer, something that you can feel and smell inside the house. So it's very, very important. And if it's a sunny day like today, we leave the window open, uh, even if it's cold. But uh, yeah. I mean, we cannot leave the window open during the night uh, or rainy days or when it's really, really freezing and snowing. Uh, so we need to fix this uh, as up. Show them how deep uh, that uh, space uh, it is. Very deep. We tried to organize this a few months ago with these boxes so that everything is closed because this is, uh, we don't have, it's a shelf that is open. So in this house, we have a lot of dust. Even if you clean every day, you have dust, dust, dust coming from outside, coming from inside. And so we organize these in boxes. Probably we will close this with a curtain, something like this. Yeah. And we'll place our changing table here. For now, we will do it like this. But then when the we will not be needing this anymore for the baby girl. Probably we will build uh, two doors or something more permanent uh, and uh, nice. We have two uh, very simple changing table, diaper changing tables. One here because in the bathroom I think it's the best place where you can put. So if you need to wash the baby, yeah. it's and okay. And we, we are downstairs here. So we are near the kitchen, uh, the living room. So if we need to change her and be closer, we can do it here. And then we will probably have one more upstairs. Uh, that will be movable. Yes, right? we will install some wheels uh, underneath so we can move it. Uh, we can have it in our room uh, or move it in, in, uh, in another room or in the toilet uh, if uh, we don't want to wake up the other. <laughs> well, one during be, the night, we don't know. Be a, a we are just difficult. guessing. Uh, <laughs> it will be everything so new, but it, it's better to have some wheels. Uh, so if we want and if we figure it out, uh, that is the best way to move it, uh, we can. And then for sure, we will not build or make the nursery for now. The baby will sleep with us for the first months and then we have the time to figure out what is the best option. For, for this house, for, for the baby, for, for us. us. Yeah. And we need also to fix something in the baby room still. But let's start from this now, otherwise we'll be overwhelming to think yeah. about everything. So let's empty this and, and, and then, then we're then, ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Laundry. This is the job, the weekend, washing everything. This is something that we usually do and now it's even more convenient because in Italy they, the price of the electricity and gas just skyrocket and 40-45% more every month. So it will be a huge impact on families. Stars are aligned, we will dance in the 
Good morning, guys. The company called us last night at 8 p.m. and they told us that they are not coming today to work on the bathroom and on the pipes outside. So we have to postpone it at the end of this week. So since we don't have a lot of time before the baby girl arrives, we decided to go today to Torino, uh, probably Ikea. We would prefer to have like the bathroom done and finished and then start putting everything new inside. But it is what it is. We need to take advantage of every day, every single minute we have until baby girl arrives. And this week we have to spend also two days at the hospital in Torino. So we don't have much free time to focus on the project on the house. So we have today, tomorrow and then that's it. Where are you now? I hope you're fine But I won't lie I still miss you so much But I don't hold quiet like it? This will be the next. Something like this. Oh, let me try this one. I don't know guys, what do you think? Do I need a couch uh, to breastfeed the baby or is it not necessary? Because, I don't know, like in every nursery, you see the diaper changing table, the crib or the bassinet, the small closet, and then the couch. You know what, but we cannot have something like this, because after, after where, where we should put this, I prefer the other option better, I think. what we need yeah it's 30 euros so. and then we can hang here something to yes, put we can attach and we can have one upstairs, upstairs. one downstairs yes i can put some wheels down there so we can bring it in a room or in the other room in the bathroom do it with the Bathroom. 
Yeah, we like this one. I like this one as well. This one. Yeah, and this one as well. Okay, baby, it's time to measure your glucose and then we can go back to Lucky Land. Are we done with the shopping? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. Uh, we still need to buy some things, but we need to finish the, the bathroom first uh, so we know exactly what uh, we're looking for. I have to say I'm pretty tired now. It's 4 p.m. It was it uh, 107. Good. And now we're ready to go back to Lucky Land. Back home, uh, finally. Yes. Yeah, beautiful people, we are back home, we are exhausted. Usually, even when you are 100% uh, going shopping and spend the day at Ikea, kind of Home Depot and these kind of uh, stores, it's challenging. When you're pregnant, <laughs> it's, it's hard stuff, so you feel even more tired, so I'm very tired. Tomorrow morning, we'll show you something very cool. We will show you something that we received for baby girl that is a game changer. It will change everything. We are super excited about it. We need to learn how to use it, how to install it. But this is why we are here now, to learn <laughs> new things and to get used to become parents. And this new life, new adventure. Yeah. So we will go to sleep and we will see you tomorrow. And today is a beautiful day because we received something very special. Thank you so much to Inglesina Italy for sending us this beautiful gift. So this will be our baby's first vehicle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Inglesina Italy sent us this stroller Aptica XT Quattro system with included a car seat that is called Darwin with a car base. And inside here there is a baby car seat alarm system reminder that it's very important. After many tragedies of parents forgetting their kids uh, inside the car, going to work or groceries, uh, since 2019 it's mandatory here in Italy to have uh, this uh, um, alarm in your car for babies or kids under four years old. We will show you everything in details later, but now let's start the unboxing. <laughs> system this set comes with a carry coat, a bassinet, with a welcome pad. A welcome pad is a specific mattress, very special, made of bamboo fiber. It promotes comfort and the correct posture for your baby. Then we have a stroller seat with a handrail, the stroller canopy, the stroller foot muff, and then there is a stand up where you can put your bassinet 
your carry cot. For example, your baby is sleeping outside and you don't want to wake him, her up. So you just move it from the stroller to the stand up. It's very, very comfortable. And then there is the car seat and the car base. And this system, this Quattro system is called Aptica XT because it's perfect for off-road. So living in the mountains, we need something that is okay for the city, but also for off-road. You can adapt the suspension of your, your stroller. So it's Amazing. Ok, allora qua aggancio questo, poi... Perfetto. Do you want the car seat or the stroller? Car seat. This is so cute. It's made for newborn babies. You can see how small it is in here. So it's super super small to feed a, a newborn baby. And here you can adjust soft or hard. Let's install this one. So this is the welcome pad mattress. It's a super ventilation system down yes. there for everywhere here as well. Of course guys, we have to practice a lot because this is the first time we will become parents and we are using all this fantastic gear for the baby. It's a learning process. We have still four weeks more or less, no less, <laughs> three weeks, so we can practice a little bit now. We will install the car seat in the car. Are you excited? Super. What do you think about? This. this is getting real. Yeah. I love uh, this one. Yeah. With both, I mean, uh, with the three seats. These two are when uh, the baby is born, and then when it gets bigger, we have this one over and here. This one as well. You can just adjust. Yes. When you, the baby is growing. Yeah, you keep removing uh, yes. all these parts. Yes. Yes. And it gets bigger and bigger. And I like this modular system because with one thing, with one, you know, chassis and with one stand up, you can use basically everything. It's very functional. It's very well made. So thank you so much again, Inglesina. This is amazing. We also have other things that they, they sent us, but we will show you everything when the baby will be here with us, our baby girl. Yes. Step by step. Step by step. This is a very cool 4x4 four four-wheel drive mm. <laughs> stroller and bus in it. We came outside to install the base for the car seat that is our modest the Darwin. And so now we will clean the car inside a little bit and then we will show you how we will install it. It's a very sunny and windy day outside. It's a very crazy season because we have like some flowers that we usually see in March, end of March, April. So the nature is a little bit confused because of this weather. Yeah, but we woke up with uh, snow. This morning was completely white. Yeah. You can still see a little bit of snow over here, but now I mean, it's almost spring right now, so <laughs> all the, the snow melted this morning. Let's go back to the car, to the baby car seat. Okay, let me clean a little bit yes. and then we film. Mm -hmm. Now let's see how we will install the Isofix base for the car seat. Let's check uh, first of all on the seat if we have. We can already read over here that uh, we have them uh, in uh, our vehicle and basically this white uh, 
thing is where the this little seat will grab. Okay. You have only one or two? Two. Okay. One on each okay. side. Okay. This one is the other one over there. The safest place uh, where to install it uh, is in the middle or on the right uh, side, uh, the, the passenger side. And uh, we will be installing on the passenger side because uh, it is easier to access uh, and also is because it's where you are not on the street. Uh, we, we usually are on, on the middle of the road uh, on the left side and here we have the, the walking path. So we should hear a click noise. Okay. Okay. Nice. So now you can see it's green over here. It's not red. Okay, so when it's green it's okay. Yes. So now the, the next step yeah. is to oh, put this okay. one down there. So you have secured everything. Okay, it's green. And when it's green, it means it's okay. Perfect. I mean, so small, it's adorable. We call this a car seat ovetto in Italy, like little egg. It's anchored uh, over there uh -huh. and uh, over there, so this cannot uh, move. And in case you don't have the ISOFIX system, you can secure the seat with the seat belt. Now I will show you the car seat alarm. That is called Olipad. It's a car seat baby alarm. There is a Bluetooth system. You can connect your smartphone via Bluetooth and installing an app. On your phone it alerts you with a visual and and also a sound alarm in case you leave the car and your baby is left inside if you don't hear the alarm if you're near anything the app will call an emergency contact that you already put in the system we can put uh, both of our cell phones number so if we don't get it on one phone we will get it on the other phone we will get a phone call save the emergency numbers and then the only part in Latina detects the child present in the vehicle I think for the weight yeah which probably and then you receive a alert alert in the event you leave the vehicle with the child inside good nice yeah isofix is installed in the car we have our car seat here ready our cooler ready and the rest we will pack again because we don't want the dust to go on all these products yes at least now it's all ready we know how to use it uh, so when baby girl is here we already know how to secure everything how to tie it, uh, and uh, close everything uh, we are you know practicing playing a little bit with the things uh. and i didn't show you this adventure bag this is the one that you attach here so you can put inside the everything you need for your baby when you are on the road we changed ourselves and now it's time to relax because this will be a pretty intense week Yes, we hope to be able to finish the bathroom and we will need to go to the hospital twice to check on Sara and baby girl and we will let you know the result on the next episode. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If so, show to us smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. The Italian words for today's video are... Le parole italiane di questo video sono... The Italian words for today's video are... Le parole italiane di questo video sono... We are very funny. <laughs> we love you, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. We will see you next Sunday and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao. Good morning, beautiful people. Ah, io? E tu devi dire these two things and... Uh, these two? Things. Things. So then... <coughs>
start cutting these two things? Because we received. No, that's a So if we need something, uh, we can. A car seat, baby. Um, a car, baby. Seat. <laughs> After some tragedies, uh, him or her up. Ah. It alerts you. It alerts. No, it's born. <laughs>